Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Taylor Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. So this is your Divine Masculine message to you. Um, so let's just get started with this. Spirit Angels, what is going on with the Divine Masculine? Thank you. Okay. <coughs> so first three cards that came through for this reading was free yourself it's time to take back control of your life pay attention to the red flags signs are cautioning you and past life relationships you have known each other before so free yourself um what divine masculine wants to tell you is that i feel like two things it's kind of an energy of divine feminine i want you to um do what you need to do for yourself right now i want you to take care of yourself mentally emotionally physically um it's kind of like he's giving you permission to move on not necessarily saying that divine feminines need permission to move on but it's more of like if if as the divine feminine you've been feeling guilty by waiting around for your for divine masculine i feel like this might be his way of saying like if you need to free yourself from me right now, like, I'm okay if you do that. Um, I also feel like he could be in a place also of really figuring out where this connection is for him and really going within and trying to understand what this all means for him. Um, pay attention to the red flags is there could be a third party situation going on um it doesn't necessarily mean that it is it doesn't necessarily mean that he is with someone else it could be for some of you some of you this third party situation is work it's money um he's got a lot of distractions around him which i is why i feel like he can't come towards you why you may feel like he's not being fully committed to you or you know it's just an energy of like, even if he wanted to be committed to you right now, he can't. And I, f I feel like because he is so distracted. And then the past life relationship, like when you guys come together, you know that there's a lot of passion. You know that there's a lot of intimacy. There, there's a lot of love between you guys, um, if that resonates. For some of you, it's just, you know, it's a soulmate connection. It's a twin flame connection. So ultimately being around this person or being in union with this person, it felt like home. It felt like, you know, there was no other place you'd rather be except with them. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry going on with you and your twin and he knows that. I feel like make the effort is him going to be coming back to kind of express himself to you, kind of tell you, hey, like, this is what's going on. This is what I need from this connection. This is why I ghosted. This is why I walked away. I feel like he's going to start making a more of an effort. You know, this could be a, like a wedding scenario where he could be coming back to propose. He could be coming back to um, make you his wife. He knows that you're his soulmate, twin flame, like I said. Yeah. Um, so it's an energy of um, just he might just want to travel with you, go away with you, that sort of stuff. Be alone with you. Um I feel a sense of like he really does miss you today. Spirit and angels, what is the message? Thank you. Yeah, so you're definitely separated from this person. And it says sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. I feel like, you know, your twin is just in a place where he's just unsure how to come and make those moves he could be thinking about everything that's gone on this is outdated thinking so maybe thinking about things that i've played in the past replaying events that sort of stuff um heart with a key welcoming love meaning the one open your heart getting together perfect yeah like i feel like he definitely wants to come back and and make it right he definitely wants to come back and have have that chase around a codependent relationship fear of abandonment yeah like i feel like he's he's got abandonment issues or commitment issues this twin but he does like you he knows that you know he has real true feelings for you it's like he wants that stability and that security and that growth in his life first before he can be um really committed to someone if that makes sense 
what is um, his personalized message today, Spirit? But I definitely feel like this connection is definitely divine. It's definitely um, like a divine timing scenario. I pray for you. I pray for our connection. I know this is where I want to be. Will you please forgive me? I never meant to hurt you. I'm so sorry, uh, baby. I'm so passionate for you. Yeah, there's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. What I feel for you, I've never felt for anyone else. Yeah, like he's he's running away and trying to free himself from like past issues or like childhood issues. Or maybe there's like something that's centered around being with you has triggered something that maybe he has like put away like it, it could be so many different things right um but i feel like he is apologetic today he is saying like what i feel for you i've never felt for anyone else i pray for you i pray for this connection you are my soulmate i have all this passion and this commitment for you i need your forgiveness um I want to make things right between us, but I'm so afraid that you will reject me. Yeah, there's like a fear of abandonment, a fear of rejection coming up for most of your twins today. And then he says, I never meant to reject you. My heart was saying yes, but the fear was so overwhelming. So it's like this connection was very strong for him. It was one of those connections where it was like he's never had this kind of like power and connection. And he's just like, I didn't know what to do with it. Right? Like it was just, it was a lot. It was nothing that I'm used to. And I think that's like what he's reflecting on is like, I, I just, I was so afraid that you would reject me. I was so afraid that, um, if, if I showed you my true colors or if I showed you who you, who I was, that you wouldn't love me as much as you may say that you do. Right. So I feel like he's just, he really wants to make things right one day with you. Um, He's just saying, like, I want that stabled foundation. I want to be able to provide for you. I don't want to money to be the root of any problems. I do have a lot of love. I do have a lot of passion. I am sorry for walking away. I am sorry for ghosting. I am sorry for hurting you. I know that this connection is true. I know that this connection is something that I want to be in. You know, I, I want to be with you. I want to date. I want to open my heart. I want to get together. I want to have a conversation. You know, I do fear that you will leave me once you realize who I am. You know, so I am asking for forgiveness for what I've done to you. I, my, my feelings are real. Um, and then it says, this is it. This is now. This is what I'm talking about. Looking out. Can't you see forever? Take my hand, babe. I'm holding on to this ring, waiting for the right moment, right words to say, right time and place. Baby, this is it. I can see you walking down the aisle. I can't help but smile. I can see forever with you. Okay. So some of your twin has a ring, you know, and, and this is that song by, um, I don't even know who sings it. Um, but it's called, this is it. And that's what your twin is saying like i have a ring i've had a ring for a while i just am waiting for the right moment you know i'm waiting for the right moment to come forward to tell you the truth to tell you what i need to tell you you know i'm just so afraid that because i've hurt you that you will reject me that you have walked away that you have given up on me that you've given up on this connection and um he just really really i i feel like he really really wants a second chance i feel like for whoever this resonates with it's just you know again you going within yourself and asking yourself if you are open to the idea of giving your twin another chance if you're open to believing that you know this is what he actually wants and i feel like um, there's a lot of healing that both needs to take place on both the divine feminine and the divine masculine and i feel like until they do um, they're definitely going to be some obstacles and challenges that they're both going to have to face. But I really genuinely feel like there's a lot of love here for this message and that I, I just feel like it's like, a, like I said, I just keep feeling like today it's a divine timing thing. Like, I mean, he has a ring for most of your divine masculine. So it's just about having that right moment to come towards you and say, Hey, you know, I've had this thing for a while. I was just waiting for the right moment and the right moments now. And I feel like forever's twin this is, he's coming back. So 
Hopefully this resonates, guys. With that, take care. Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you soon.